We're back on Video Soul. We're talking with Stacy Lattisaw. You're looking good, too. You look thank great. You. Thank this, you. What is this suit? You look made nice, out of? too. Oh, thank you. This is, you know what? I don't know what this is made out of. Everybody's like been asking me that. Something like that. Some kind of new fabric. I think it's rayon. Is that right? It's fabric? nice, though. Some, but something. you got a little. Oh, no, no. I thought that was suede. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's got that look. <laughs> what do you do in your spare time? Shop. Oh, really? <laughs> That's how you look like that, right? Go out I shopping. I love to shop. Oh, really? What, what else do you do? I mean, you got to do something I, um, shop. Let's see. I'm beginning to write more music now. And um, oh. in fact, I wrote one on a new album oh, really? called The Reason Why I Love You. And I produced it along with Ron Kersey. That's Ron, have like. mercy, Kersey. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he's bad. So is this the first time that you've got uh, uh, to put your hand in production? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did it feel like? I enjoyed it. I have I still have a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. The the boards and stuff um, I haven't learned that yet. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where you're headed? Is that yeah. what you want to do? Mm -hmm. I oh, like really? to do that. Mm -hmm. On other acts. I think I'm going to be working with my brother soon. Uh, he sings and he signed with my my management Hush. He's getting ready to do an album. Jerome. Mm -hmm. How old is he now? I, I got to explain <laughs> people. I mean I remember Jerome being like eight years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how old? How, he's seventeen. He's seventeen. He'll be eighteen in March. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he's getting up there. So he sings. Like girls calling the house all night and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you still live at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm still home. Mm -hmm. You never thought about moving out? Or? Yeah. I'm not I, trying to start anything I at home, you understand, I, Mr. Lattisaw. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> no, I've thought about it. I think about it, you know, but I, I'm not ready for that. I would, I don't know if I'm ready to live by myself yet. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> now, uh, we, we had you on the show once with Johnny Gill, and we had yeah. you guys romantically linked. Um, is that a thing of the past? Or is it something that still exists, or what? Why y'all keep asking me? Because <laughs> inquiring does. minds want to know. I guess, yeah. I guess so. And we, we, we're close. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it at that. We, we, you know, we, we, we keep in touch. We're friends. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. We're buddies. I'm going to let her keep talking. Uh -huh, go ahead. <laughs> no, we're friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Man, that's cool. <laughs> we're going to take a look at uh, another video. This one's Every Drop of Your Love. Stacy Lattice on video, so. That's Stacy Lattice on video, so. You didn't cringe when we showed that one like you did the first one. You oh, like I this like video, don't one. you? I like that one. How long ago was that? Uh, year that and was half? last year. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it fun making that, or is it ever fun yeah, making videos? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that video. A lot of them, they take a lot of time to, mm -hmm. you know, to making everything. I enjoy it's, it's almost like acting when you do a video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, you, do you ever get involved in the creative end of the videos? Or you Not just really. Act? I haven't yet, uh -huh. but I, I'm going to do that too. Eventually. Do you have any interest in acting? I would like to do some acting. I think later, a little bit later, mm -hmm. I'd like to. Why? Why later as opposed to now? Because I want to. I want to do more writing and um, producing some mm -hmm. of my own things, and I would like to do some acting. So you're gonna write? Yeah, I want to do music first and acting later. I well, I mean, you got a great start, and I don't see why, <laughs> you know why you wouldn't. I mean, you've you've done, uh, you've had a wonderful career already yeah. at a young age. I mean. What are you, 22 now? Uh, 22. Mm -hmm. oh, you, wow, 22 and you're 23 had... next month. Which album is this for you? What number? 11. Or 12, I, you know, I was thinking the other day, is this my 11th album or 12? I think 11, yeah. Well, that's yeah. good that you've forgotten. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that shows uh, success, it seems to me. I think it's my 11th album. 12, 11th or 12th, 11. or 10th or 11th? It's aren't? 11. Yeah. Okay, it is 11. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I understand that you... You tell stories throughout the album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of stories? <laughs> What's this concept? Uh, well, the, the album is about, um, well, like most music, love. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the ballads. I did a duet with Johnny Gill called uh, Where Do We Go From Here. It's, well, that's going to start some rumors. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it already has. It hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, though. It's, it's almost like... It has a gospel type feel to it. Oh really? And Lamel Humes wrote and produced that one. And I did a do another um he did another song. It's not a duet. He did like some ad lib tracks in the end of it. It's called Dance for You. 
and I did, um, let's see, some other ballads and other tempos. I work with a lot of different producers on this album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that difficult when you work with seven different producers it on is, one it's album? It's kind of difficult because you, I don't know, to, to keep the album at the same continuity is, is kind of hard. Yeah. Be but this album, it doesn't, you can't even tell that all the different producers worked on it. Oh, really? Because a lot of times count. you can. I mean, when your album is like, well, the mm -hmm. second cut has nothing to do with the fifth cut, and it's just but sounds just like album, a compilation you can't of music. Even tell. It, once you hear, you can't even tell. And the one I I wrote is uh, it's a ballad. I th it has uh, five ballads and five up tempos. Mm -hmm. on it. What's your favorite cut on the album? Tender love is bad. Oh, really? <laughs> Ron Kersey did that. He wrote and produced it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. In fact, we're talking with Stacy Lattisaw today on Video Soul. Uh, the album is not in the stores yet, right? The new album? No, it'll be out on the 17th this month. Oh, okay. So uh -huh. that's next week. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, good luck with it. Thank you. You know, what, I, I, I hope it goes double, triple platinum for you. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> what are your expectations of it, though? I mean, do you have expectations when you get ready to release an album? Mm -hmm. I, well, I think this is going to do real well because a lot of the material we picked, well, I picked, mm -hmm. and it means a lot to the artist. When you're singing what you like, yeah. you know, you can really, you know, do a lot with it. And um, I enjoy working with the producers, mm -hmm. and I'm just putting a lot of uh, myself into it, yeah. you know. I like it. Well, good luck with it. Thank and good you. luck with your other endeavors, too. Thank you. Uh, writing and producing and helping yeah. your brother and, uh -huh. and all that stuff. Thank you. You're wonderful. It's great to see, nice you, to see you, too. You're growing up into what you have. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stacy Lattisaw, our guest today on Video Soul. We're going to close it out with Nail It to the Wall, one of her older videos. And then we'll do the latest one, which is called What You Need.